Hello and welcome back to the DRS Development Channel. Uh, I'm Jan Mertes, it's a sunny day in July and we are back at the place where many dreams start for Porsche owners. Uh, many dreams turn into nightmares and nightmares get, tur get turned into really beautiful, well-built and well-prepared engines and cars. We're back at the Fastoldi workshop and today I'm going to show you a few things. And by showing you a few things, we mean take you to the JFT engineering workshop where the Phoenix is being built. Um, here you can see Philip at work cutting away uh, for the outer valley pump. We've had lots of problems getting it. It's finally the time to install it. For that, we have to take away a little bit of material. Uh, the original Porsche pump is slightly smaller than the outer valley one, uh, and you have to modify the case on both sides which uh, Philip is doing here by hand. After measuring a lot of times, taking off uh, a little excess material at a time, um, after a while you can finally fit it and this is the end result. We've had uh, a lot of issues this day. Uh, preparing the crankshaft, you have to take off the old gears and put them back on the new GT3 crank. Um, today we've discovered we had way too many issues uh, than, than normally and Philip designed a special tool to uh, align the crankshaft with the gears and press them off and on much easier. Uh, this is one of the many benefits of working with JFT engineering and having a big CNC machine. Uh, everything that poses as a problem can be fixed uh, right away. As you can see here, the tool is made uh, within hours of the original design and um, here are some nice shots of the, of the part being machined. Picking up the pace, uh, Philip has already done the design work for the engine. Jeff is taking the special tool out of the machine. Uh, first up with the build is to clean the crankshaft properly. All of the journals have to be cleaned for excess dirt or materials. Uh, as you can see here, the engine is almost ready for uh, closing it. Uh, we put in the crankshaft, the oil bearings, the oil pump, and all of the gears are already in place. We have two special tools to keep the chains from falling down. First step is cleaning the crankshaft. For this build we use some powder uh, special conrods for the journals of a GT3 crankshaft and the uh, head pins of a normal 3.6 engine. After putting assembly oil on the ceramically coated GT3 bearings, uh, it's time for assembly of the crankshaft. We usually do this outside of the uh, engine case because it's much easier. Uh, it's much more stable to put on uh, a used flywheel. Every conrod is put in the, in the correct position. Uh, it's not a necessity, but for the form it's much nicer. After carefully uh, putting them on the first um, momentum, they are measured once again, all of the rod bolts. Final assembly, always check the papers. As you can see, while the engine is being assembled, we use a lot of sticky assembly oil. This is to uh, assure that no uh, engine will dry up or, or metal will hit metal. Uh, once you start up an engine, it usually takes a while for oil pressure to build. This makes, uh, by using a lot of sticky oil, uh, you make sure that no bearing surface comes into contact with, with any of the materials. And so you assure that the engine can run in properly without any damage. Uh, 
And after using a lot of assembly, uh, glue basically, it's case closed. Time to put everything into Torx packs. Here again you can see Philip check the paper, it's always better to just check it well, instead of doing it by hat. He's helped by his first son Jeff uh, and here you can see the finished results, engine case closed. Then on to head studs. Uh, usually on an original build we use deliver studs from an RS 993. Uh, on this particular build we chose to do ARP uh, studs. There isn't really a big difference between them. I just like the look of these a little bit over uh, original delivers. As you can see for, there's a job for everyone. Uh, I had the honor of putting the con rods into some elastics. Uh, it's uh, sped up, but it took me a while, but voila! final head studs uh, assembly. Uh, we gold plate all of our head studs, everything on the engine is redone. Um, I used a little bit too much glue on this one, we don't usually. I took it off, no worries. Philip is assembling the piston rings and the pistons, uh, again with a little bit of sticky oil just to make sure that when running the engine has enough oil until the oil pump builds pressure. We have a special tool to do the ring gap. We know lots of people use files or other methods, but for us, this is the only correct one. Uh, and as with everything, we measure everything three times and make sure everything is perfect. Special pliers to put on the piston rings and scrapers. Again, a lot of sticky oil. Philip machined a special tool, just like with the crankshaft. Uh, this helps to put in the piston rings much smoother. Uh, it helps prevent breakage and other things. As this is a normal 3.6 engine, we used a normal uh, gaskets from, from the factory. Nothing special about it. The piston barrels have also been aqua blasted, but are original. Redone, of course, and checked for, for everything. Here you can see the CP pistons all assembled in the barrels. And the final one going on. Always a nice to see the engine moving. Final checks. This is Philip setting up the timer for uh, setting the camshafts and timing. The fully assembled head put on the camshaft covers. and final truck sequencing.
putting it just in place so it can be assembled perfectly. But as with everything, it needs a small touch. And in this case, the touch from a hammer. Again, everything is gold plated. All of the bolts, all of the nuts, all of the washers, everything is redone in gold. Torqued to its proper first sequence and then final assembly and final torquing. Everything from the crankshafts up until the cases to the pistons and the barrels, then uh, forward to the heads which have been assembled. Uh, camshaft housings have been installed and uh, it's up until here. Next time you can see all of the other previous bits and pieces being assembled. Uh, for now, I would like to thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe and let us know what you think.